If these mice were normal, they'd be dead. Scientists at Wake Forest University have repeatedly given them large doses of aggressive cancer cells. Yet the mice stay perfectly healthy. We occasionally run into the stories of someone who had a cancer and then a few months later disappeared for no obvious reason. But in medical research, you cannot go back to the patient, say, what did the body do to get rid of this cancer cells? Scientists can watch what happens to cancer cells from the mice. In this time-lapse microscope video, the arrow points to a cancer cell. The mouse's immune cells attach to and burst it, while normal cells are unharmed. This is quite amazing if you consider that current therapy in humans that we have to endure very profound side effect to kill cancer cells. As they write in Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, the team has bred hundreds of these mice, all from one mouse that had a mutation in a single gene. Hopefully one day that we can find out what gene is responsible for this and how this gene can activate immune system in such a profound way. The discovery doesn't mean any changes right away in human treatments, but Twe hopes the cancer-resistant mice will teach researchers how our own immune systems can be mobilized against disease. I'm Bess Greenbaum.